I also know that you do a lot of work with BHRT, which is bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. This is another area that I actually don't know much about. I know a little bit more about it in the context of perimenopause and menopausal women. Um, yeah. But we'd love to hear just like kind of, first of all, for our audience, like one, what it is, two, what kinds of conditions or like sorts of issues that it might be applied to, and then three, when you know if this is something that you should be considering. Great. Yeah. So typically when we do want to bring on board bioidenticals, it's a situation where the woman's natural production is uh, not possible. So when you go through menopause, uh, your ovaries quit producing these hormones and there's not a lot that we can do necessarily to stimulate that process to happen again. So uh, same with uh, a common use of bioidentical hormones as in younger women is actually if they have a hysterectomy, which is more common than you would think. So I do have a, a fair yeah, number of lots of them go. Yeah. And so they do go through menopause, you know, in their 20s or 30s whenever they have the hysterectomy. Yeah. Uh, depending on the severity and if they get a full hysterectomy or not. But that's, that's going to be a time when we need to bring on hormones because we've essentially discontinued production completely. Absolutely. So they will start to feel just awful uh, without those. Yeah. And yeah, I've seen bioidentical hormones in younger women bring them back to life uh, after mm -hmm. a hysterectomy. So it's really important. And it's obviously it's not advantageous. We don't want to start a woman that young, but the, the other alternative is her living brain fog, miserable, can't build muscle, you know, it's yeah. just a quality of life thing. So, so yeah, those are the two times I typically, when I'm working with women, um, that have not had a hysterectomy and they're not going through perimenopause, menopause, mm -hmm. uh, I will steer away from using bioidentical hormones. So mm -hmm. There are maybe some exceptions, but for the most part, I'm using all sorts of other natural medicine. We're using herb, shatavari, we're using uh, evening primrose oil, we're using seed cycling, things to re-regulate the menstrual cycles and uh, support her. Sometimes I'll use, uh, there's like some topicals for progesterone yeah. Yeah. that are not, uh, a prescription per se, but they they can help with a woman who has an estrogen dominance situation. It can help to raise her progesterone, that's and cool. that's done at a smaller dose. Uh, but for the most part, we're using diet, uh, supplementation, uh, lifestyle practices, and really saving the bioidenticals until we really need them, which is around perimenopause when things drop off. 